everybody my name is Empress Queen and welcome to my channel Holistic Beauty and this is titled what do I need to do to lose weight I did this for health um, this is just gonna get just a, a brief quick snapshot of your situation and give you advice on things on how to lose weight and get to your accomplished goals always be comfortable in your skin no matter what size you are and weight loss is best when you're aiming about being healthy more than the way you look you know <clears throat> being overweight is uncomfortable and you know can be considered unhealthy a lot of people may not like hearing that but it is unhealthy to be overweight because you want to have a lot of energy if you do have a lot of energy you want to make sure your body is functioning correctly this is not about you know looks or trying to make yourself look better because you're beautiful the way you carry yourself how you smell how you dress the way you comb your hair um, the way you treat yourself and your confidence is more beautiful than anything weight has nothing to do with looks and I, I just wanted people to know that like a lot of people you know get so hyped up on thinking that oh my god I'm overweight I'm on attractive that's not true <clears throat> I am a chunky woman okay and I'm attractive to a lot of people and I I think that's awesome you know I do strive to lose weight for health reasons but you know not to be attractive anyway let's get into this there's five piles and so <clears throat> excuse me my allergies are acting up if you can hear me like going in and out it's my allergies there are five piles here and um just close your eyes if you can and take a deep breath and just think about your weight think about what you want to accomplish think about how you want to feel how you want to do things that maybe your weight is limiting you to do and for those of you if your weight is limiting you you can kind of think of it and then pick a, pick a number pile one Pile two, pile three, pile four, or pile five. So let's do the second. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so pile one, what can I do to lose weight? And there's little messages on the back of this card, and I put like three cards here to kind of just, you know, give me a past, present, and future. Ooh. Wow. Let's see what this says for pile one. Make time for yourself. Stop eating out. Make time for yourself and stop eating out. So for pile number one, you're going through a lot of different changes within you. Um, you went through a lot of dramatic change um, and it also changed the way you perceive the world or the way you perceive things in your life it's like because you went through all this change it came with a lot of loss and quick like a lot of quick movement to the point you feel like you just want to keep busy you don't want to think about the loss you don't want to think about the problems that you have going on in your life so you kind of just keep yourself busy until the point where you have no time to you know make healthier choices when you're eating so for those of you who pick file one your weight loss can happen if you eat better choices or better types like better choice types of food and it's coming from you um, being too busy so you're probably having to stop and eat out or you know grabbing a bag of chips or eating drinking you know like carbonated drinks instead of being able to slow down and you know getting water or eating a fruit or packing you know making salads or eating healthier foods or cooking food from home 
and bringing it with you to work or whatever you're doing. You're keeping so busy because you don't want to focus on the pain that, and the stuff that you've been through from your loss to the point you're, you're keeping yourself busy and you don't have that time to pick the right choices of food. So I don't really see like an overeating or undereating or eating too much. I'm seeing it's the types of food that you're eating it's not good for you. It is making you gain weight. Some of you, I'm hearing you have a job that just is so quick and life changing. Like it may be overnight or you're having to travel a lot and you're just not getting that time where you could just make healthier choices on what you eat. So watch what you eat. That's for pile one. Pile two. <clears throat> I feel like there's a frog in my throat. I'm trying to get it out and it's not coming. So I'm sorry if I'm clearing, clearing my throat in your ear. So for pile number two, what can I do to lose weight? So let's see. Reduce stress. Do some Pilates. That's for pile two. That's a two. <laughs> reduce stress do some Pilates um, you have a lot of energy I'm hearing you're very social you you're very active and and you're you're trying to figure out okay I'm a very active person I don't understand why this weight is not going anywhere and, you know, it could be that you may not even be overly weighted or anything. You might just put on or have a couple of pounds on you that you want to get off. And you're not understanding, like, why is it not budging? For this pile, it's I'm hearing you have to do some type of, um, not cardio, but more like a relaxing, more stress-relieving Exercise like Pilates, yoga, Tai Chi, um, going like going to like an organization that does like meditation and yoga, like join a yoga class or a Pilates class. Because I'm getting it this card. Going to the gym, but I'm not seeing cardio. I feel like this this group right here, you're already pretty active. If you don't go to the gym, you walk or you do something that takes a lot of your energy and you're already very active um, so it's not the fact that you're not active it's more so you need to reduce stress stress is holding on to you and it's making the weight harder to get off and so you need something that's stress relieving that's what will help you lose weight for pile two pile three let's see here Pile three. So let's see what will help you lose weight, pile three. It says healthy, health. I said health, health. Talk to your doctor. So let's see what's going on. Okay. So for this group, for pile three, your weight has something to do with something else going on inside of your body. It's either you're taking some type of medication that is making you gain weight or you have something else, some other organ or something else going on in your body that's causing you to gain weight and you kind of intuitively know what it is. And I feel like when it's talking to the doctor, you need to go to someone to examine the pros and the cons or someone that examined what's going on with you to get the weight loss off. Um, you need a healthcare professional to help you. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not seeing anything severe. I don't know. I'm not a doctor and I'm not giving any health advice. Uh, the only thing I got was that you need to see a doctor because there's something else going on with you, whether it's mentally or physically, that is causing you to gain the weight. And so a doctor would be able to tell you why you're gaining your weight or the solution to helping you lose the weight. The doctor is your help. You need help and support. You need someone else to analyze what's going on 
you need someone that has knowledge that can manifest your weight loss. So you need some type of help doctor. I'm, I'm hearing doctor it will bring the harvest. They would know exactly what you need to do to get the weight off. So for those of you who pick pile three, you need to go see a doctor if you would like to. Um, some type of health professional, not a gym, health or a personal trainer is talking about seeing an actual health professional and I feel like you guys, some of you guys know what it is. So you would have to see a health professional. They will guide you and lead you into ways where you can lose some weight. So I hope that helps. Pile four, see what can you do to lose some weight? Make the move. Make the move. And that's funny because right above this is the Eight of Swords, which talks about feeling trapped in fear. Don't let the your weight hold you back. You have something that's reaching out to you, some type of decision you need to make. I feel like, yeah, this is the lover's card, but the lover card deals with making a choice, a life-changing choice, joining in union with someone. So it could be a lover, or it could just be a choice that you need to make that's going to make you happy. So if you're making a decision on should you do something, the answer is yes, and it will bring you the weight loss that you need. Make that move. Go for it. Because it's going to make you lose the weight. Taking on that challenge. So for those of you I feel like you know what it is. Don't stay in your mind stuck. Don't have fear. Go for it. Whatever you think that's going to make you lose the weight, you have an idea already. You just have to make the choice. The one that's really telling you what, like, the one that's talking to you the most. So let's say you might in your mind say, I want to join a gym, or I want to go just a personal trainer, or I want to walk every day, I want to go on a hiking trip. You know, you're thinking of things. Whichever one that you that comes into your mind the most, that's the one that's going to bring you the most um probable um, results and you're going to this group right here you're going to definitely get your results you're going to definitely lose the weight that you're desiring and you're going to be happy just get out of your head stop feeling so trapped you're going to lose the weight so go for it even if, it could be a program that you're going for like let's say you want to sign up for some type of weight loss program, like the biggest loser or something. And you're like, I don't know if I would get it. No, go for it. Go for it. Make that move. It's waiting for you. All right. So that's pile number four. Pile number five. What can they do to help them lose weight? Okay. Five. It says, keep doing what you're doing. I feel like this group right here, you're taking the traditional, traditional approach to weight loss. You're watching your weight. You're taking your, like, sorry, you're watching your food intake. You're watching your weight, of course, but you're watching your food intake. So you're watching what you're eating. You're, you know, you're exercising, whether it's just walking, going to the gym, um, you're, you have a very good foundation. You're doing it in a way that's your pace and it's going to bring a very positive result. Keep doing whatever you're doing because it is going to work for this group. So you don't really know, you don't need to know what you're doing to lose weight because you're already doing what you need to do, do to lose weight. This group right here, you are already on the right path and you will get the results that you want. Keep going with whatever you're doing. Whatever pace you're going, keep going. And I'm also hearing follow your intuitions. A lot of you in this group, you're being like guided and with yourself, like there's something telling you do this, do that. And you're like, where is this coming from? It is your inner higher self telling you how to get this weight off. And I see a very positive result. So I'm really happy for you guys. 
pile five. Well, I hope that helped, and I wish all of you a great, successful weight loss. You have a good night. Bye-bye.